Hi there, I'm Lee, welcome to iMine Blocks. In this video, I'll be doing an updated version of the Nexus CPU miner. So you can use this to mine Nexus coins using your uh, computer's processor. So this miner can be used on both pools and solo mining. In this video, I'll really be focusing on demonstrating the pool mining option, but it's very easy if you wanted to do the uh, solo mining option as well. So on the screen, you can see the Nexus CPU miner. The most kind of important uh, part of it, uh, there's lots of information, but the most important part is this WPS part here. So you currently see it's running at 344, 341. Uh, because I've got the uh, video recorder running and a few other uh, programs running, it's running a little bit slow. Uh, normally I'd be getting it closer to around 600 uh, WPS. But like I say, because I've got those other programs running at the moment, it's running a little bit slower. So I'm going to close the miner now and uh, continue on uh, with this uh, guide. So the processor that I've got in this machine is a Intel i5-6600 uh, and it's running at just under 4 gigahertz. Uh, the processor uses roughly around about 100 watts so it's uh, efficient and you get lots of uh, performance out of it. So getting started with the miner, I'll put a link in the video description and you can just download the miner, save it to your downloads or desktop or wherever you like and inside uh, the zip file you're going to have a whole bunch of programs that look just like this. It'll be exactly the same for you guys. So there's two different ways to start the, the miner. You can start with this run underscore pool dot patch file, or you can start by selecting one of the miner executables um, as they are. So I'll show you how to set up each of those. First we go to the batch file and we're going to go to edit. So it's a really simple configuration. The main part is this nexus underscore cpu miner.exe. For starting, I would use just the default uh, executable file and then see what the performance is like and later on then maybe change that to one of the other executables that probably better suits your CPU. Um, I seem to get the best results with just the, the, the basic miner. Um, I think because um, I've got a Skylake processor, but like I say, you can optimize later. The pool that I'm using is this nexusminingpool.com. This part is the pool. Next up we have our nexus address. And then we have these uh, numbers on the end here. Uh, by default it should be a percentage and then one, two and three. I believe it's for the amount of CPU threads, but I'm not confirmed that. Uh, the original kind of batch file was just left as that, so I'll save that again for you guys and then it'll be the same for you for your download. So you've got the miner, you've got your pool, and then you've got your address, and this part we think is threads. So that's how you set up your batch file. From there you just double click it, and it'll start up. So you can see it's using C threads is free, prime test threads is four. Uh, when you first start the miner you might notice it looks a bit funny format, so you just need to bring it a bit wider until that K kind of comes all the way to the edge and it's um, a bit easier to read. It seems to be extra long in this version. Something about like that. Um, and anyway, you see, so you can see now I've got the uh, WPS is a little bit slower. There again. So the other information that the miner provides is the network difficulty. You've also got the block height and you've got your current nexus balance that's currently on the pool itself there. Uh, at the end is also the kind of the runtime of the miner. So that's the batch file. The next part is the miner.conf. So we'll just select it and then we'll edit it. It might look like this, and um, you could open it with Word and it will um, fix the formatting. But it's kind of uh, very much the same as the batch file. Let me just open it in. No, we'll just stick with it. So, like I say, very much the same as the batch file. So, the first part is you've got your pool, the port for the pool, you've got your Nexus address here. You've got the C threads and the P test threads. Um, you can just leave those at zero and that will use the maximum performance of your CPU. If you want to uh, change the figures, it's not, it doesn't work to the exact amount of threads of your CPU. So play with the figures. Um, so for, on an eight thread process, you might want to go uh, five and eight or something like two and five. You're supposed to be uh, putting around about 70% of your threads on the C threads and uh, your full threads on that p-test threads. 
So I'll link to uh, extra details on that. The rest of it you can just leave um, exactly as it is. You don't need to fiddle with any of the other details. So once you've got your minor.conf set with your address and your pool, you can then select uh, just any one of the executables. Like I said, I was using the Nexus underscore CPU minor. That seemed to work best for me. So that fires up. Connects to the pool and starts mining. So I'll close the monitor, I'll just show you what it looks like on the pool. So the pool that I'm using is the Nexus mining pool. On the main page you've got an option to add in your Nexus mine address, so you can see mine's linked up at the top there. Once you enter the address, click enter, you'll come up with this kind of summary. So you've got this uh, summary page, you can see I've got three connections, I've got three different computers all mine into the same address. I've got my total hash rate there. Uh, I've got a current balance um, on the account which is pending payout. You can also see the last earnings for the last 24 hours, week and month. I've only really been mining using this new miner uh, for about 12 hours and I was only using one computer. So I expect the earnings to increase um, significantly. Uh, I'll probably be earning roughly around about one tenth for the Nexus day. Not very much, but the power usage uh, is also very low as well. Regarding the miner, there's some extra options. I will link to these guides as well. So this was uh, done a few months back, but it gives you a full breakdown of all the different uh, information that's provided by the miner. So like I said, the most important part is the WPS, that's kind of like your hash rate. But it's also got various other information, it explains them quite well. There's also this part I'll link to as well, which gives you a better breakdown of the config options, uh, and also explains how to connect um, to your local uh, well, it's worth wanting to do solo mining, but that's not something I'd really recommend um, unless you've got, um, you know, like multiple Xeon processors or something like that. Um, but that gives you kind of a breakdown of those other options in there also. Uh, going back to the Nexus mining pool, uh, like you've got your earnings. So this is your kind of how much you earn in each round over the last, uh, I think it's 24 hour period. You've got payments, so those are all your old payments. And you've got this part here, which is quite good. It's like a little graph chart. So it shows you your performance over time. So like I say, it's only bringing money for me about 12 hours and I've just added these extra miners onto there. So we're closer to like a, a thousand WPS now. Um, but that gives you kind of a good um, overall breakdown of your hash rate, etc. Close that back. Uh, we'll just start the miner again. You can see it's put the load on the CPU again now. So that's it. So it's just a quick look at the new Nexus CPU miner. Uh, this is a good miner if you want to get into um, CPU mining, if you've got some spare uh, processing power that you want to use. And I think Nexus has got a good long-term value coin, so it's good coin to mine. I think it'll be uh, good for the future. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.